Oh, check this out. Yep. That is definitely a brown widow. Oh, look at that. I'm going to try to get him on the stick real quick. I don't want to annoy him too much, though. It's all right, bud. Got it. Got it. Got it. Finally. Have a look at that. Yes. That is 100%, without a doubt, a brown widow spider. All right guys, so today we're gonna be looking for the brown widow spider. A lot of you guys have wanted us to find one ever since we filmed the black widow, which is much more famous than the brown widow. And hopefully today we can find one. Now we're not gonna be looking in any kind of natural areas for brown widows. Brown widows are an invasive species here in North America, and that means we need to be looking for them in places that they would be invading. Most of the time you're gonna find them in little piles of wood, inside tires, and all kinds of weird places like that. So that's pretty much where we're gonna be looking. Brown widows pretty much look like any other brown spider at first glance, and also have similar habits of living in and around old buildings and piles of wood. I'm basically looking for a brown version of a black widow spider. It'll have a similar shaped body and a red hourglass on its abdomen. Oh, check this out. Yep. That is definitely a brown widow. Oh, look at that. I'm going to try to get him on the stick real quick. I don't want to annoy him too much, though. It's all right, bud. Whoop. Okay, they're fast. There it is. Whoop, whoop, whoop. These spiders are really sensitive to light, so their first reaction to being uncovered is always to run and hide. Not aggressive whatsoever. But it is pretty hard to get one of these guys to crawl on a stick. Alright. Come here. Got it. Got it. Got it. Finally. Have a look at that. Yes. That is 100% without a doubt a brown widow spider. Now these species are invasive here in North America. They're not originally from here like the black widow species. Oh, look at that. She's trying to get away from me. Get back on your stick. Get back on your stick. It's not like in the sunlight whatsoever. Now this species is not nearly as infamous as the black widow, but they are a very well-known species. Now you'll see they look exactly like the black widow with just a different coloration. They even have the, the reddish orange colored hourglass on the bottom of their body. And that's an easy way to identify these guys, but they look very, very similar to a lot of different house spiders. Uh, the common house spider has the exact same body shape and all the same things as a brown widow, but they don't have the little black bands on the claws, and the brown widows have that hourglass on the bottom. Now, another good way to identify these guys when you see them in their web is their egg sacs. I didn't see an egg sac immediately down there. I'm sure there's a couple up in this wood, but uh, these guys have little spiky egg sacs, and a lot, of, a lot of spider species have little rounded, perfectly rounded egg sacs, but they have little spikes, little nodules all over them. And that's a good way to identify. When you see that, you normally know that it's going to be a brown widow. Now these species, like I said, are not originally from here. They're believed to be from South Africa. Now a lot of sources kind of debate whether that's true or not, but with what I've seen, they are from kind of South Africa-ish area. And uh, really, they've spread all across the world. They live in Europe, Asia, South America, North America, even in Australia they live now. So they're pretty much on every continent at this point definitely acts different than a black widow, that's for sure. It makes a lot more webbing and it attaches it all over the stick, which is pretty interesting. Now the real question we're trying to answer here is, is this spider actually dangerous? And truth be told, studying the venom of a brown widow is extremely difficult. For one, we know that they don't inject as much as a black widow, which instantly makes them less dangerous. And a lot of sources will say it's less potent than a black widow, it's more potent than a black widow, and truth be told, we don't actually know. Now have a look at that web. It produced a large amount of web already on this stick. And it's not really like in the sunlight too much. It's kind of staying on the shaded side of the stick. And uh, that's normally what these spiders try to do. They try to hide from the sunlight. Whoop. He's throwing webbing on me over here. That's crazy. They've got super strong webbing. In fact, these spiders can build a brand new web in less than a day. That's pretty incredible. If this spider's nest does get destroyed, they'll have it rebuilt by the next day. Now, these spiders live two to three years, that's their normal lifespan, and they can lay 20 egg sacs in that time period, and each egg sac will have at least 100 baby spiders. So one spider can produce 2,000 more spiders, which is pretty insane. Now these spiders will normally eat the male after mating with them, but it doesn't always happen. 
Only about 50% of the time does it really ever happen. Normally the males will get out quick enough or the female has eaten enough. They really only eat them when they're super hungry and uh, that doesn't always happen. Now this spider keeps coming towards my hand and that's not it trying to bite me. That's just it traveling down the stick and I just have to keep it calm, keep it on the shaded side of the stick and uh, really just keep it from getting to the grass because this grass he could vanish in a second which would not be good. Now brown widows have a neurotoxic venom and uh, just like the black widow, they have trace amounts of latrotoxin, which is a specific venom that widow spiders tend to have, such as redback spiders over in Australia, Mediterranean uh, widows over in you know, Europe and Asia. And really, these guys have the exact same thing, but we really don't know how potent it genuinely is. These spiders get about as big as the black widows. This would be a medium-sized one right here. And you can see they've got tan and black colorations on there on their little claws there. Another name for the species, the group that holds widow spiders is the comb clawed spiders. And that's going to even include house spiders and some other varied spider species. And uh, you know, they all kind of have this same body build with these long claws and then they've got the tiny head and a huge abdomen. That's what they normally have as a comb clawed spider. Now if you have a look, oh goodness. Okay, check this out. So what, what this widow just did if you try to touch one of these spiders, which I just kind of pointed at her, you got a little bit too close, they'll throw a web at you. Now this is their primary defense if you try to touch them, rather than actually biting you. Watch this. If I touch her, whoop, she tries to, she literally grabs web with her back feet and tries to stick it to me to keep me away. Watch this. See that? That's liquid web super sticky. I don't want to get that on me because it's really, really annoying, but uh, that's something crazy that widow spiders are known for doing. Black widows, redback spiders, brown widows, almost all widow spiders do that, and it's really, really cool. Now, this spider isn't aggressive. It's not going to turn around and bite me for touching it or anything like that. It's going to try to web me up, and it's going to try to get away. That's all these spiders want to do. This isn't anything super dangerous. Uh, the spider's not aggressive. I've got pretty much no chance of being bit unless I do something really, really stupid. I would have to grab it and hold it basically for it to do that. But uh, no danger here. I'm just trying to set a good example by keeping it on the stick. This is a good distance right here. This is safe. This is an easy way for me to show off this animal in a respectful way to you guys that uh, isn't too invasive for the spider and uh, it's showing a good example for how people should treat spiders. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed learning about this spider and if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and I will see you guys next time. We're gonna hold on to this guy for another video.